Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! In this video, you will learn how to solve rational equations and word problems involving it. We have here x plus 2 all over 8 is equal to 3 fourths. In this given, we won't be having any restrictions with the answers since our denominators are all constants. Now since both sides are one rational expression, we can cross multiply. In here, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator is equal to on the other side, the denominator of our first fraction multiplied to the numerator. So that would be 4 times x is 4x and then 2 times 4 is 8. And this side, 8 times 3 is equal to 24. Now retain the term with a variable on the left side. So we will transpose 8 to the other side so that is copy 24 from positive it will become negative 8 now copy 4x which is equal to 24 minus 8 is 16 so divide both sides by 4 so our final answer is 16 divided by 4 is 4. Let us now proceed to number 2. 2x minus 1 all over x plus 3 is equal to 5. As you can see, we have a restriction here. We cannot have a solution of negative 3 because it will make our denominator 0, which is undefined. So to cross multiply this one, let us place 1 as the denominator of 5. And let's begin. 2x minus 1 multiplied to 1. So let us copy that one first. Is equal to x plus 3 multiplied to 5. Now, 2x minus 1 multiplied to 1 is just itself. So we will just have to copy is equal to 5 times x is equal to 5x plus 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Now we will place all variables on the left side. So we have here from positive it will become negative 5x copy positive 2x is equal to from negative 1 to positive 1 and then we will just copy positive 15. We have here negative 5x plus 2x that will give us negative 3x and then 1 plus 15 is 16. Now we have to divide both sides by negative 3. So our final answer is x is equal to negative 16 over 3. In number 3, we cannot have a solution of positive 3 here and positive 5 over 2 since it will make our denominators 0. So let us now cross multiply. We have x squared multiplied to 2x minus 5 is equal to quantity x minus 3 multiplied to quantity x plus 2. Let us now distribute x squared. So we have here x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. And then x squared multiplied to negative 5 is negative 5x squared is equal to x times x that is x squared x times 2 
that is positive 2x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Let us just copy the left side. Since we can still simplify 2x minus 3x which is negative x and then copy negative 6. Since we have x cubed here, we will have to place all of the terms on the left side and we'll just have 0 on the right side. That would be 2x cubed minus 5x squared. From positive, it will become negative x squared. From negative, it will become positive x and from negative, it will become positive 6 is equal to 0. Now, we can still simplify here the like terms. So, we will copy 2x cubed, negative 5x squared minus negative 1x squared. So, a total of negative 6x squared. And we will just copy plus x and copy plus 6 is equal to 0. We can now proceed to factoring this out by synthetic division or long division. I will be using synthetic division here. We'll write the constants 2, negative 6, 1, and positive 6. Factoring is a trial and error process. So we have to think of a number here which is a factor of 6, let us try positive 3. The first step here is to bring down the first constant, which is 2, and then multiply it to your number, so that would be 6, and place the answer here, and then you add this up, that will be 0, again multiply to 3, place your answer here, and then Add again, which is 1. Multiply again to 3. Write your answer here. Add that 1, that is 9. Now, our goal here is to make this last answer 0 to get the factor. But since it is not, that means to say we have to repeat the process until such time this last number is equal to 0. Let us try positive 2. The same process, let us bring down the first constant and then multiply it to our number. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we will add this up. That will give us negative 2. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. This will give us, when adding, this will give us negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, which is equal to 0. That means to say, 2 is one of our answers. Now, we will work on with the remaining constants here. So, you have 2x squared. So, from x cubed here, this will now be x squared. Minus, next to x squared is just x negative 2x and next to x is just a constant. We will factor this out using quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is in the form x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Our a is the constant beside x squared. This will be our b and this will be our c. So let's start. We have here negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared is negative 2 squared minus 4. Our a is 2 and our c is negative 3. All over our a is positive 2. So, x is equal to negative of negative is positive 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 
and then negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24 and then all over 2 times 2 is 4 now we can simplify what's inside the square root so that is 4 plus 24 is 28 So we have here x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 28 is equal to square root of 4 times 7. Now 4 is a perfect square so we can take it out. So square root of 4 is 2 so what's left is square root of 7 all over 4. Since there is a common factor which is 2. We can divide everything by 2 here. So 4 divided 2 is 2. 2 divided 2 is 1. So our final answer here is 1 plus or minus square root of 7 all over 2. Now we have here our set of x. x equals 2. And then we have here 1 plus square root of 7 over 2. And the other one is 1 minus square root of 7 all over 2. So these are all our final answers. Let's now proceed to word problems. In an inter-barangay basketball league, the team from Barangay Kuliat has won 12 out of 25 games, a winning percentage of 48%. How many games should they win in a row to improve their winning percentage to 60%? So in here, Barangay Kulyat has won 12 out of 25 games already. If we will divide this two here, it will give us 0.48 or 48%. Now, we have to add up number of games wherein they should win in a row in order to improve their winning percentage. Now since this number of games is still unknown, we'll just have to place x. So we have 12 plus x all over 25 plus x is equal to 60% is 60 out of 100. Since 60 and 100 can still be simplified, we'll just have to copy whatever is on the left side is equal to our common factor here is 20 so 60 divided by 20 is 3 and 100 divided by 20 is 5 now since there is one rational expression in each side we can now cross multiply we will multiply this one here so that's 5 multiplied to quantity 12 plus x is equal to we have 3 multiplied to quantity 25 plus x. Let us now distribute 5. 5 times 12 is 60. 5 times x is 5x is equal to, let's distribute 3. 3 times 25 is 75 plus 3 times x is 3x. Now we have to place all variables on the left side. So we'll copy 5x and then from positive to negative 3x. Here we will copy 75 and then from positive to negative 60. Now we have here 5x minus 3x that is equal to 2x and 75 minus 60 is 15. Let us continue our solution on this portion. Now, let us divide both sides by 2. So, our x here is equal to 15 over 2 or that is equal to 7.5. Now, since there is no 7.5 value for games, we will round it off to the nearest whole number which is 8. Therefore, our final answer here is Barangay Kulyat should win 8 games in a row to improve their winning percentage to 60%.
we are now on number 2. You have 6 liters of pineapple juice blend that has 50% pure pineapple juice. How many liters of pure pineapple juice needs to be added to make a juice blend that is 75% pineapple juice? So at first, we have 6 liters of pineapple juice blend where 50% of it, that is 3 liters, is a pure pineapple juice. Now, we have to add a certain number of liters of pure pineapple juice to it in order to increase its concentration. But since this number of liters of pure pineapple juice is still unknown, let us label this one as X. So we will add X to 3 and we will also add X to 6. The result of this will increase the concentration to 75% which is 75 out of 100. Now since the right side can still be simplified, we will just copy the left side here. And then our common factor is 25. So 75 divided by 25 is 3 and 100 divided by 25 is 4. Now, since there's only one rational expression in both sides, we can now cross multiply. So this is 4 multiplied to quantity 3 plus x is equal to 3 multiplied to quantity 6 plus x. So we can now distribute 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times x is 4x is equal to 3 times 6 is 18 plus 3 times x is 3x. Let us now place all terms with variables on the left side. So we have to copy 4x and then from positive it's negative 3x is equal to copy 18 and then from positive 12 negative 12. Let us continue our solution on this side. So we have 4x minus 3x, that is x, is equal to 18 minus 12 is 6. Therefore, we need to add 6 liters of pure pineapple juice to make a juice blend that is 75% pineapple juice. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.